so yeah, in these Taylor's crisps we have buffer, hot buffalo wings. So I especially was interested in the flavours of these ones. Uh, jalapeno and mature cheddar. That sounds really nice. And the classic Thai sweet chilli. Mm, so these are all from Taylor's. I don't recognise the brand Logan, although Taylor's does kind of sound like a typical name for a crisp brand. So maybe I've had other Taylor's crisps before, but I don't think I've had this brand. Um, they're in. They were in Lidl. Um, hmm, I'm just wondering if they're made especially for Lidl or not. Um, I don't think they are. Um, I always like to read what it says on, on the fridge. It says, we embraced potato in the heart of Perthshire, Perthshire, Perthshire. The Taylor family liked to do things properly. Oh, did the Taylor family actually exist and they're not a made-up um, family for the sake of branding? It all starts with a terrific tatties, potatoes, if we're being formal. We cut them extra thick, then cook them very gently because our... Unique crunch deserves extra attention. We let our Chris do the talking by serving up true potato taste. And our flavours will have your taste buds coming back for more. What do you think? Join the conversation. And then there are Twitter links. That's now outdated. Uh, TikTok, um, Facebook, etc. And there's also an email. Let us start with uh, the Thai sweet chilli, which has a rating of one chilli, one tiny little chilli has been highlighted, so they shouldn't be too strong. And they smell not of much, to be honest. They smell only of potato. Um, hopefully that is not a sign of a lack of flavour. Usually rich cut crisps have more flavour than non rich with anything, as I believe scientific research backs up the ridges help the flavour in some way or another. Let's try one. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, a bit of a kick. Small kick. Yeah, so they're nice. They've got a sweet chili taste, which is good because of sweet chili flavour. Um, it's like... Um, quite subtle really there's a very very small bit of chili i don't think any more is going to come in i'll try another one but i think it is just a very small chili taste obviously it was one chili so that's why it's rated like that and there is a little sweetness as you might be able to hear actually after that second one no that's got a bit of a kick it's not a huge kick but there is a bit of a kick there um a bit more than I was expecting, so it's nice, nice little kit. But um, what I really like about them is they're really soft. They, you probably heard a crunch, and there is a crunch, but they're somehow soft at the same time. That probably sounds like it doesn't make sense, crunching soft, but it's hard to explain. You get an initial crunch when you eat, bite into it, which is nice. But sometimes some of these um, crisps, some crisps I find can be a bit too hard, and it's they're not always so pleasant to eat, but. Once you start eating these, they've got a more softer taste than I'm, usual, than I'm used to. They're very nice. So, yeah, as I say, I've seen these in Lidl. I don't know if they sell them anywhere else. They might well be. So let's try a buffalo ring. Very good value price-wise, as long as the taste matches up. And so far on the first one, these have a chilli rating of 2. So actually, buffalo rings should be a bit hot. Oh, I didn't rip the bag very well, so never mind. Oh, these have, have they got a smell? No, the weird thing about these crisps, right? They only, you only really seem to smell the potato, despite the strong flavouring. Not the strong flavours, and based on the first one, they have quite a strong flavouring. But yeah, I can only smell potato. <clears throat> Excuse me. Right, so let's try this one. Mmm. <clears> hmm. <throat> mm. mm, okay. It's a nice, nice taste. I'm just trying to think how buffalo it is. Oh, that's huge. Look at the size of that one. Let's try it. Mmm. 
Hmm. Oh yeah, I feel like it took longer for the kick on those ones to come through, but yeah, it's coming through now. It's supposed to be a bit stronger than the last one. So, um, yeah, maybe a tad, but they're nice. Um, yeah, there's a kind of a buffalo taste. Again, the texture of the crisp is slightly different to what I'm used to with these kind of crisps, but not in a bad way. It's nice. Um, yeah, there's a fair bit of flavour to those. I think I slightly prefer the sweet chilli ones. I mean, I like buffalo as a flavour. And I am getting a sort of buffalo flavour coming off them. So, now probably the ones I was most looking for, so I'll save it for the end. Jalapeno. A mature cheddar and these have a chili rating of three so the hottest i actually unintentionally went in order of hottest didn't even do that on purpose so i'm glad how that turned out will these have a smell probably not none of the others do there's something that tiny smells but it's but it's like mostly still the potato like it's really weird how you don't smell the flavorings on these crisps but once you start eating them can you really taste them right should hopefully be really nice flavour combo. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. Waiting for some heat to kick in, but I'm sure it will. Sometimes it just doesn't kick in straight away. I'm trying to work out how much I'm getting off the cheese. Let me try and... I want to get a bit more of the cheese taste. Hmm. Okay. Oh yeah, and the cheese is really a subtle one, to be fair, so is the jalapeno. Um, and it's taking a real bit of time for um, the kick to come in. Maybe I'm getting confused whether I'm tasting the kick from the other crisp still. Um, but yeah, I'm going to eat another one and probably eventually the kick will come in, but so far it barely has. Okay, you really have to eat a few of these. I'm starting to get the kick now. And also, I'm starting to get the jalapeno taste. I certainly learned not to just judge trying one crisp because at first they were very underwhelming. I tried one and I was like, I'm not getting cheese, I'm not getting jalapeno. Now I'm getting it. And I had to eat a few before the taste really started to come out. It could be also, to be fair, where I've eaten other crisps. I needed to overrun those last flavours. Yeah, the cheese is definitely really subtle though. Um, very subtle, but you know, it's it's quite nicely judged, but the taste of the jalapeno, which is a taste I really enjoy, is very, very nice. So yeah, I would certainly buy this brand again, and for the amount you get, and for the quality, I will definitely buy them again as well. Um, yeah, so uh, let me know if you've tried these crisps, if there's any other flavours in this range as well, because I would definitely like to try them.